Last Wednesday after school, an everyday kid not looking where he was going fell into a ravine and landed on a weird egg, just as it was hatching. Now he is Dragon Boy, the hero destined to dig to the void and break bedrock. Ah, my head. Feels like it must weigh 20 pounds. You got that right, kid. Huh? Who's there? Show yourself. It's me, over by the waterfall. Can't miss me, kid. I'm the only one here just spinning and spinning around. Uh, are you okay? I'd be better if I wasn't spinning. Now jump down there. Get over here and pick me up if you don't mind. Uh, okay, but how do I get over to you? Uh, use the waterfall. Jeez, do I have to spell it out for you, boy? Probably trip over your feet if I didn't tell you how to walk. Uh, I would, but uh, I'm just a boy. I don't know what to do. I'm just a regular 10-year-old boy. Perfectly relatable and normal in every way. But I, I can't swim. What? You can't swim? Ah, oh, jeez. Kids these days, millennials and whatnot. All right. Don't worry. Don't sweat it, kid. You're a lot different today. There's many things that you can do now that you couldn't do yesterday. Trust me. Take a look in the mirror. Ah! What? My face! Well, happy birthday, Frankenstein! You're a monster now! Oh my gosh! What is this horrible... You lost your baby fat is what happened. Look at yourself. You're gross, but you're beautiful. At the same time, I love it. Ugh. My... My ten-year-old baby cheeks have been replaced by this monster's head. What's going on with me, fish? Tell me! You're not just a boy anymore is what happened. You got the dragon blood in ya, and that's a good thing. I'll, I'll explain more, but just come help me. Okay, but uh, you'll tell me about myself and, and what these changes are? I'm scared, I don't, I don't know, ow, ow, jeez. I don't know what's happening, I need your help, fish. Help me. It's all right, it's normal, everyone goes through the change. Now jump into that lava and swim over here to get me. I, I don't trust you, fish. Well, you're gonna have to. Okay, I trust you, let's do it. Oh, whoa, it sizzled a little bit, but now it feels pretty good. Might want to come back to this later. That's your dragon fry ability, boy. It protects you from fire. Dragons love fire, mostly. Might hurt you a little bit, but you'll be okay. Just be careful with water. And that witch over there. Uh, uh, what What are we gonna... It's laughing at me. I, I don't know what to do. Who are you? Well, the name is H.R. Poofofoosh. But that's Mr. Poofofoosh to you and your little friends. Or I guess you can call me Pops. That's, that's what my friends call me if I had any around here. All right, kid. Before that witch gets to you, I'm gonna show you another power. Let's, uh, let's get ready here. Now bend your legs and jump! Whoa! This is amazing! Better spread your wings too, kid! I I'm flying! This is, this is spectacular! Man, Pops, you sure know how to, uh, tell a kid how to do some cool stuff. Well, it's you, Dragon Boy. You, oh, jeez. You could have landed a little better, but you'll get used to it. You've got so many powers. That was your dragon jump ability, and that's your dragon fly ability. You got the fry, and you got the fly. Now land real quick. I've got another power to show you. I, I can't wait. There's so many powers, so much stuff. It's just the first episode. That's right, but we've got plenty in store, so keep watching. Now, if you want to sprint... Whoa! Oh my gosh, I'm so fast. This is magnificent. I love this. Oh, jeez. Yeah, you're, you're pretty fast now. That's your dragon spry ability. Your legs are kicking much faster than they used to, to say the least. Now, try something else for me. Hold on, hold on a sec. I gotta eat this cookie. Mom gave me this for snack time. All right, what do we do next, fish? I mean, Pops, throw out those eggs. They're old, and also, they'll activate another power. Whoa, that's a creepy noise. Try out your dragon dig ability. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm digging everything! This is amazing! Well, don't go destroying the natural resources. Come on. All right, chill out, kid. Oh, okay, okay. That was, uh, that was empowering. Look at all that. I could find some precious materials in no time. Well, don't worry about that, kid. You got better things to do. Now head over to that village. Whoa, here we go. <laughs> this is great, Pops. I'm glad I met you. If you go into this village, you want to talk to one of these villagers because they're going to inspire you a little bit, kid. They're going to tell you they need a hero. Let's talk to this guy. I need a hero. There we go. You're now stronger than before. You've got resistance and you can pick a fight with anyone and probably be okay, I guess. Don't quote me on that. Well, Pops, I, I need some food. If I'm gonna fight something and help these villagers, I, I need some food. 
Well, okay, you're in luck. Now, face that forest. Yeah, right there by those carrots. Use your dragon jump and dragon fly. And uh, what was that noise? Come on, dragon boy. You can do better than that. It sounded like a little fart. All right, fly over this forest here and towards that island that looks like a butt. This, this doesn't look like a butt, Pops. It's like a heart. It's a symbol of love. And uh, it's beautiful. It looks like one of the, like a real heart with the holes for the valves and everything. It's a butt, and I know it. Pops, I, I can't stand for this. Love is a very treasured emotion between two people, or sometimes a gorilla and a cat that share a sacred bond. I'll not have you desecrate love with your cockamimi catchphrase and different little, you know, sayings and what wisdom. I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm gonna ignore you, Pops. Now, where is that, where's the place we're headed? It's over this hill. Trust me, Dragon Boy. It's that isolated white panel van. Just, you know, go down there, and I've got some cookies for ya. Oh, okay, I trust you. You're gonna need to work on that landing, Dragon Boy. I trust you, Pops, so you say there's cookies up here on this hill in this van? All right, let's, uh, let's speed it up. Here we go. <laughs> oh, wow, this is, uh... This, this is a little weird, Pops. I don't know. Trust me, Dragon Boy. It's okay. I, I haven't steered you wrong so far. All right, let's see. And, oh, you're right. Here we go. Jackpot. It's a baker's dozen of baker's dozen stacks of cookies. Take them all if you want, Dragon Boy. They're for you. I, was, uh, I wasn't planning on eating them myself anyways. I can barely finish a corner of a cookie. Man, Pops, I, I'm impressed. I, these these look delicious. I'm gonna have room right now. I thought you were gonna lead me into here and have like candy corn or something gross in this isolated van out in the woods. All right, there we go, I'm full. What else is in here? Those are my treasures, but you can have them, Dragon Boy. Just move your inventory around a little bit. There you go. I've got some string too in my pocket. That's nice, Dragon Boy. Now grab that. That's gonna help you a little bit to, uh, to get going with your combat before you activate your your power that will help you out fighting. You might not want to take that, but that's okay if you if you really want it. And those are my famous chocolate chips. Those are what go into the cookies. They're also a very powerful psychic totem, so don't worry about that. All right, Dragon Boy, we need to head back to the village because I have a feeling they're gonna need us in just a second here. So let's do a dragon jump and a dragon fly all the way over. So which village are we headed to? There's one right here and there's a giant swamp that looks inviting. We're going back to the village back at the start because, you know, something in my fins is telling me that they're going to need our help pretty soon, so you want to glide over there and uh, use your dragon x-ray vision. It's a power that only activates when the chunks don't load, so don't worry about that, Dragon Boy. All right, so, uh, so how are things going here in the village? Sun's going down. Seems like something might happen. Maybe we should hang around, Dragon Boy, so remember to use that trusty shank plank and, uh, and start off combat right and then you'll get your dragon punch ability. You'll you'll really need that. So along with uh, uh, your talking to these guys, there we go, they love you. Get your dragon tough guy started and your dragon punch should help you out. But don't forget, you have these other items as well that you can try and as soon as the sun goes down, something's gonna happen. You wanna take a look at this graveyard? This looks pretty cool. All right, all right, Pops. I, uh, I don't see what could go wrong with this this graveyard here, the gate is open. There's a chicken inside, seems pretty inviting to me. I guess we'll just hang out here and uh, and see what's gonna happen. You might wanna get a little bit away from there, Dragon Boy, trust me. You never know what can happen in a graveyard. You could slip on a uh, on a tombstone or something. You shouldn't be walking on them, but it could happen. Oh, uh, Pops? Pops? There's a lot of fiery zombies down here, Pops. Get him, Dragon Boy! It's time! It's your first fight! Take him down! Don't let them light you on fire, but you'll be okay. Your Dragon Fry ability is activated, and now you have Dragon Punch! Punch them, Dragon Boy! Get them! Get them all! This is amazing! I'm roaring like a beast! And we killed them, okay. That was generations of ancient villagers there you just murdered, but uh, you learned a few things. There we go. All right, can I, can I... Can I dig here? There we are. Whoa, this is great. I let go. It's all going to my head, Pops. That's okay, Dragon Boy. Now, more monsters are going to show up, and I want to teach you a thing or two about your other powers. You've got a few more here before we end the episode. Remember those chocolate chips I gave you? Pops, I've spotted a zombie, and he's walking very weird, and that one has an egg. Great job, Dragon Boy. These ones don't look like anyone's relatives either, so it won't leave horrible emotional scars when you murder them. 
That's always a bonus, Pops. Let's be careful, there's spiders on my tail. Time to speed things up. Why not try out those chocolate chips, Dragon Boy? That might help you out. All right, let's do it. Here we go. Look out for that witch. Uh, I'm focusing all of my psychic energies, but I still got poisoned. There you go, now let him go. Oh, they're gonna fall. There you go. <laughs> That's how it works. You might wanna get out of here though, Dragon Boy. You're in a rough way. Maybe have a cookie or two. Don't go down here, Dragon Boy, jeez. Sorry, Pops, I, you know I run where I'm gonna run. Whoa, I'm almost dead, but I'm not. Well, Dragon Boy, it looks like the village is in danger. We might not be able to help them until next episode. What about this mysterious wheat, Pops? Well, we'll find that out too in episode two of Dragon Boy. See you all there. I, I hope that uh, I can come up with a better name for myself now that I'm a hero. Maybe, maybe they can help us out. The viewing public, who knows? All right, well, thank you all, and I'll see you next time with more cookies and more adventure. Will Dragon Boy and Pops ever escape the cave underneath the village? What do cookies made by a pufferfish taste like anyways? And did Dan really leave the gate open to the graveyard again? Again, Dan? Maybe we'll find out next time on Dragon Boy. Just, just crouch and jump. Oh, you hit your head.